Now that we know how to count to nine, and we know how to write our numbers from zero to nine, now we're going to learn something called place value. Okay? Now, often what I do is I ask a question. And here's the question, and it's a tricky one, so you have to think about it. What is larger, three or four? Four. Are you sure? Really? Depends. Because you should say three what? Or four what? But you haven't been taught that yet, so you're okay. So here's the deal. When you learn the counting numbers from zero to nine, they only tell you how many. All right? But place value tells you what value. So, so far we've been using these little guys so far are the what? What are these? Units. These are the little green, we're going to call them units. Because units is a little bit better. So, some people call them the ones. But I like to call them units because you see one tells me how many and unit tells me what kind or what value. All right? What if I put 10 of these in a line? That would be the same as one of these big blue ones, which we haven't used yet. These are the tens, okay? And so how many tens do I have right now? Two. Two. And how many units do I have? Three. Three. So really, in this case, two tens is more than three units, right? Yeah. Because the two only tells you how many, but the ten tells you what value. Okay, and the way that we like to do this is we like to build a house on a street. In fact, a couple houses. So we're going to call this decimal street. And this street is where every value has its own house or its own place. And the first house on the end of the street is the little green house. And who do you think lives there? The greens. The little greens, the units, right. And you know how many I can get in there before I have to move? Six. Nine. Okay, because we only count to nine before you have to move. So far we have three. Let's go ahead and put a couple more in there. How many do we have now? Five. Five. And so we're going to put five because that represents five in the units house. Now who lives next door to the units? The tens. The tens. This is where I live. See? Blue, blue, tall, tall. So this is my house, okay? And how many friends can I have or nine. children nine. living with me here? Nine. nine. That's it, because that's why we count from zero to nine, then we start over. So let's put two in there today. So how many tens are home? Two. two. You know, when I was about your age, believe it or not, one time I lived on a street that had lots of houses. Well, I had lots of neighbors. At one time, I don't know why I got the idea, I got a little notepad, and I would walk down the street, and I would knock on the door, and I would say, how many people live in your home? And they would tell me three or four, and I would write it down. I'd write their house number and how many people lived there. I don't know why I did it. I just wanted to know, I guess. <laughs> and some people didn't tell me. So let's pretend that we do a different problem now. And we'll put some more numbers in here. And let's knock the, down the street. Ready? How many people are home today, Mr. Unit? Four. Very good. We put a four here. How many tens are home? Three. Three. Very good. Okay. Get the idea? So notice how we build it, and then we write it, and then we say it. Three tens, four units. Now how would we say this number? Say this whole number together. Three P4, three P4. Very good. Because it turns out that this little word here, it's a suffix, it goes at the end of a word, it's called T, and it means 10. So if I said 6T, how many 10s would I have? Six. six. If I said 7T, how many would I have? Seven. How about 9T? I'd have nine tens, right? Okay. So I just say 3T4. It turns out though, if you say 3T real quickly several times, what, what are you going to get? Three. Let's try it. 3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T3T
27, but we say how many tens? 20, 20. Two tens. Tutti, 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 tutti. That just always sounds like tutti, but. <laughs> 27 or 27. Okay, now I want you to think about this one now. Pretend you've never heard it before. Okay, how many tens? One ten. How many units? Four. Okay. So how are we going to say that? One T four, right? One T four. Okay, so let me give you a little tip. Even though we have heard all our life that you've pronounced this as 14, right? But I want you to be thinking when you see it, 1T4. So here's what I say. 14 is the nickname, right? But the real name is 1T4, right? Okay. So what do they call you, young lady? What's your real name? Allison. Allison. But what does everybody call you most of the time? Allie. See, Allison is your proper name, but Allie is your nickname, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's more explanation in the book about that. Now I need a volunteer. Okay, you come on up here. And what we're going to do is, you guys, here, we'll put the chair here. You have to all make tornado noises, and you have to look at the camera instead of up at the board. Ready? So close your eyes. Make tornado noises, come on. Okay, good, that's a great tornado. <laughs> All right, now, Vontoria, would you be able to answer one question for me? Look at the board. Is every value in the right place? Or is every value in its own place? Who's in the right place? Okay, so what should I do? Can you reach over there? You probably can't reach there, can you? Okay, let's put all the green ones over here, right? Yes. And then what? Then put the blue one. Okay. Ready. Nice job. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, so now let's count. How many units do we have? Four. Four. Two. How many tens? Two. 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 So we call that 2 T4 or 24. 24. Very good. Now there's three Two. ways. There's three ways I can give you problems. The first way is I could build it like we just did, and let me write the numbers. Or I could do like this. I could write the numbers, and here, you've got blocks in front of you, ready? Build this one. Show me that one with your blocks. While they're doing that, well, yeah, that was very quickly, okay? So you put one unit, and then you put three tens, because this is the tens place, right? And then we say it, 3T1 or 31. And you know what the last thing is? What if I don't write anything? What if I don't build anything? What, what if I say, show me this one, 45. Go ahead, 45. See, now I'm giving it verbally. Very good. Very good. There you go. So if I said 45, that means 4T means four tens. And five units means five units. So it's 4T5. Then I write it 4T5. So however you do it, you want to end up building it, writing it, saying it so that you can see it, so that you can understand it, right? Okay.